Okay, look at me. Okay, we'll see if that works. <laughs> All right. Well, good day, everyone. I am really happy to be on the bike here today. I'm with uh, Jacob and Wyatt, my two boys. And we are on the Murdoch Basin Road in the Uenas. This is on the south slope of the Uenas. Coming out, we're about 15 miles from Camas, if I memory serves properly. So we're gonna head up and do a little fishing today, see if we can catch a bunch of brookie, brookies, otherwise known as brook trout. And uh, have a lot of fun for a few minutes before I have to go to work tonight, so. Uh, we're really happy to be back on the bikes. It's been a couple weeks between vacations and lots of work and things. We finally get back on the bikes and get to have some fun. So Jacob, how do you like in this intercom on here? Does this work pretty good? Yeah, it works really good. Yeah? How's this trail? Is it pretty tough or is it okay? Well, you're going a little bit fast. Oh, am I? Okay, I'll slow it down. Okay. Don't push it too hard, but make sure you're looking ahead, okay? Don't look really close to your front tire, okay? You wanna pick your line out way in front of you, okay? How you doing? Yeah? Okay. Good job. Let's see, take a little rest, shall we? Yeah! Okay, doing all right? Okay, you need to try to have a loose grip on the handlebars, right? On, the, on your grips, try to loosen up your grip. I know it's hard, but try to loosen up. Remember to squeeze with your knees. Hold on to the bike with your knees. Don't hold on with your hands. Does that make sense? You still want to, I mean, you don't want to hear hands flying off the handlebars, but you definitely want to just try to keep a light grip on the handlebars, okay? And then you want to grip with your knees and remember to bend your knees good, okay? So you want to be up here like this, right? You're going to be up like this, okay? and you're gonna let the, your knees take all the bumps and you wanna look far ahead. The reason you hit big big rocks is because you're looking at them. So you gotta try to keep your eyes where you wanna go, not on the big rocks. So you wanna look for the trail between the rocks, not in the rocks. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, let's, do you wanna go ahead or do you want me to? Okay. Good job. There you go, get up on those pigs. Woo. There you go, good job. So the great thing about these uh, intercoms on these things is I can talk Jake through things. So, you know, I can watch him and kind of see how he's doing and give him little pointers and tell him good job and all that. Does that kind of make it fun to ride we got with each other? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Try to always remind yourself to loosen up on those handlebars. I know it's hard, but it'll make it so you can ride a whole lot better and a whole lot farther, and you'll use your legs more, which is the way your bike was meant to be rode. You got a ticket on the left. There you go. Good job. Yeah, there we go, huh? Good job, power through it, there you go. Yeah, you probably don't have enough power to keep get going on that, you probably need to go to first. Good job. Yeah. Good job, this is pretty technical stuff. You're doing great. There we go. Whoa! Oh, I killed it.
How was that? <laughs> so Jacob, do you remember when we started the, ch the YouTube channel back in March? Yeah. Well, back then, I did a, I did a promise to our YouTube viewers. I didn't think we'd actually get this far, but we actually have, uh, as of today, I think we have 52 subscribers on our YouTube channel. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, we're gonna go right. Well, back in March when we started the YouTube channel, we actually did a, I did a video that talked about the individual first aid kits or IFACs. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah, well, when we did that, I said, I'm gonna give away two of these IFACs to people. Go around the right side and then you can go, go just go around that border, boulder. It's like somebody moved the, moved the boulders on us. Anyway, so the uh, I, may, I promised I would give away two of those IFACs once we hit 50 subscribers. So that's what you're going to do. We're going to give away a couple of them. I think the retail value on them is like 10 bucks. They're not that expensive. But, you know, they're just a little kit that I put together that I like. And anybody could throw them into any bag or, or any backpack or tank bag or whatever it might be. It has a few band-aids and stuff to do CPR and all your basic essentials for first aid for the most part, you know. You know, I, I carry a lot more than just a basic IFAC, but, but uh, you know, you, you know, it's all kind of personal preference there. But, but these are a good little kit we're going to give them away. So that happens on the 30th of August. On the 30th of August, we're going to uh, generate some random numbers on the people that have uh, signed up. And that will be uh, just a random giveaway to, the, to, to anyone that has signed up to that. So the way it works is you click on the link below. It takes you to our website, advmedic.com, and there there's going to be a simple form that allows you to uh, put in your name, your email, and you can leave us some comments if you like. And uh, on the 30th of August, we're going to draw for a couple of free IFACs, and if I can, I'll probably give away a couple of other things as well. So uh, we're going to, I really enjoy the fact that uh, we might be able to keep adding some value to people out there. and. So we're gonna we're gonna give away a few things just for for all the support and love that we've been getting from people. So thank you so much. Yep. Oh, you okay? Yep. Do you remember catching fish out of this tiny little creek? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? In fact, there's a little fish right there. Little brookie. Yep. Tell you can tell why. Yep. Boy, this is still as rocky as it ever was, huh? <laughs> Getting to get into some enduro stuff here. That's where they do the races, those races that I've shown you, where they do really hard, hard rocks and difficult jumping logs and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, this is our old camp. When I was a kid, we used to come camping here all the time. They didn't have, this wasn't a four-wheeler only area. And I've spent many times camping right here on this spot. So let's pull over here in the shade. Yeah, let's get the rods out and let's go hit it. All right, how was that ride? Was that a good ride? All right, well, we'll get some rods out and we'll show you guys a little bit of fishing here in a few minutes. Okay, here we go again. There he is. Oh! <laughs> you know it's little when you fly back behind your head. What's bad is one time when I was a kid, I was a little older than you are, Wyatt. I was doing the same river right here, and the fish got off mid-flight, and he went flying, and it took me like five minutes to find him. I was worried he was dead. Luckily, he was still alive. That tiny little fish, man. I got one this big. Nothing more than a fry, I think. All right. <laughs> 
Yeah, I got it and I saw it move, so I brought the hole over straight to where it moved. Yeah? And I got it. Whoa, I see it. It's going like through the wheels. Okay, can you get him off? Pretty cool. Get him off the hook and get it back in. So what fly are you using? Uh, I think it's a royal wolf. Okay. There was tons of them. There he is. There's more of them. There's tons of them right here. 